Instagram. Welcome, welcome to this new video. Continuing in the flow, in the recent flow, today we're talking about allowing yourself to not do it the right way. Okay, this is again the flow of these three videos in the same sort of sense. Because how dare you? How dare you not to do it the right way? We have a constant critic within ourselves, always present, always gonna punish us for the right or wrong because we have adopted the reward punishment coping way. We've based it on whatever, on however we've been raised. And yeah, allowing ourselves not to fulfill others' expectations, allowing ourselves not to meet even our own expectations. This is something, it's, it's daring, it's brave. But this creates the evolution, this creates the change. And by someone allowing themselves, therefore you allowing yourself to live a different way, to live a satisfied, fulfilled, overall happy life with having everything you want, everything, is then gonna ripple and then gonna inspire others wow maybe i can so that is actually the end goal of what we want to achieve we want to have an influence we want to influence people and tell them our point of view on this world we want to matter we want to feel like we're worthy but you have to make yourself matter you have to convince yourself you're worthy you have to tell yourself you are worthy of everything you are deserving of everything without you're deserving just by being here just by being yourself and a way of getting to that will be allowing yourself not to always do it the right way because what is the right way right way is a limiting belief there is no right way the polarity that we have in our minds that are the good things, the good way, the right things, the bad things, the bad way, that's wrong, that's bad. That's what they do. But usually with the family we've chosen to incarnate ourselves into, will be inviting us to, we're going to be questioning what they're presenting as the only truth. And that's the way we move, we, we experience. We have to question what has been said to us. Is that the truth? Okay, that was the truth for me until now. But if now it's frustrating me, if now it's not aligned anymore, if I actually and sincerely even don't want that to be my reality anymore, then it's up to me to question it then it's up to me to dare myself. What if I don't do it the right way, the seemingly right way? Because the right way is what I believe is the right way. But to allow myself to do it a different way, that's the scary part. That's the stepping out of the comfort zone. But that is what brings you back to the alignment. That may be for a second there uncomfortable, but then brings you into alignment. And especially if you're experiencing such uncomfortableness as is chronic pain, constant pain or um, anxiety, depression, whatever uncomfortableness, some sort of pain, then you're not aligned. And to go back to alignment, you're gonna have to question your own beliefs because you have adopted those beliefs because you thought they were the best for you. You thought they were the best solution that you thought how um, things are, that's how things are done. But if you do want to come to all to that alignment without the victim of blaming everyone, of thinking you have it worse than others, then your situation is worse than others. So coming back to that alignment will be questioning your own beliefs, questioning 
your own beliefs with what you see, what is proposed to you. And life is always going to um, present you with things of how you can question what you think you knew, what you think was the only right way. That that's just how it's done. That's how it's been done for uh, ages, for, for ancestral lines, for generations. But what if now you came here with your own story? You write your own story. You are the one who can experience this life. And you can choose how you're going to experience it. And sometimes it's going to go hand in hand with allowing yourself not to do it the way you thought is the right way. In order to get back into the new right way. Because the right way you've adopted has never been your right way. It's maybe never been aligned with you. It maybe never was your limiting belief to carry. And allowing yourself to let go of those and allowing yourself to try and even not knowing, okay, I'm going to try a new right way. And that's going to become my right way. But this is freeing yourself. This is the liberation. This is coming back to ease. Because if we're experiencing pain, there's so much tension. There's so much clinging onto those limiting beliefs, which are true only in your reality. In your own reality, they're true until you believe them. And once you decide to believe something else, then it becomes flexible. Then you free yourself. Then you let go. Then you forgive yourself. And then only then you can invite more ease, more safety, more trust into your life. Okay. So this has been a nice flow. I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be a bit shorter, but yeah, it uh, was necessary to leave this here. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Bye.